Hello everyone, welcome to the Horror Room. I'm Travis Bruce, and today we're doing another Indie Horror Spotlight. I have with us today, by the way, shout out to the Magic of Horror Film Festival. Um, I have it with us today. He's an indie filmmaker, and he has a short film that's called The Barber. I And also has a YouTube channel, too, that is called Independent Filmmaking. By the way, we're going to talk about that because it's a fun channel. I have with us today, all the way from Thailand, Sergi Pudic. Sergi, welcome to the Horror Realm. Hey, hey, Travis. Hello, hello, everyone. Thanks for coming on, man. So so tell my... So I had a pleasure of seeing The Barber, but tell my everyone a little bit about it. Uh, so uh, when you will uh, watch it, I will send you the link so everyone can watch it on YouTube. Uh, so okay, this, uh, this movie uh, I did in... Uh, I shot it in 2019 in Ukraine. It was uh, before I leave Ukraine to, to live in China and then I finish uh, post-production around 2020 beginning and start the distribution uh, and it was um, like a, one of the, the most successful horror movies that I've uh, done I, I've done four short uh, horrors uh, and this was like a it was hit the spot so I won many many festivals like I was selected for more than 100 festivals um, Get get money back, production money. So of course, production money was uh, very little. Uh, as for indie short, like I spent like a two thousand dollars, and uh, uh, the price in one film festival in Japan was exactly two thousand dollars. So let's say I'm equal, <laughs> not not not, yeah. not counting the di distribution expenses. Um, yeah, so uh, this is a short uh, short horror movie uh, about uh, one uh, one night in the barber shop. Uh, when it was almost closed and uh, the last customer appears so and then you need to watch what, eight minutes of nice uh, nice images and uh, and music <laughs> and the acting and everything nice <laughs> now, now, now did you ever think about making this into a full feature uh, yeah it was in, it was initial idea uh, but no, no so no, now I'm in research to, to find a way to make a indie indie feature horror uh, and somehow to get money back so big because now i live in thailand and in thailand there is a very big uh, um, uh, tradition of horror movies and the thai people like very much horrors especially supernatural horrors uh, so i'm thinking in this direction to to make here uh local horror feature nice 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 by the way i've been to thailand once and it was a fun time are you loving living in Thailand? Thailand is the best country in the world for expats. It's, it's like yes. for sure. The, the food is country. fucking amazing too. Amazing, amazing food, uh, nice people, atmosphere. Every, you can uh, have everything to do around. Uh, it's it's amazing place. Like, especially compared before I was living in China. Okay. <laughs> not comparable. <Yeah. laughs> and by the way, when I was not there for the prostitutes, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Everyone is like this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So, so how did you get into horror uh, filmmaking? Were you always a horror fan? Uh, I like horrors. Not not that much that I was a little fan and every evening watch horror movies, but I like them. Uh, so, and uh, um, I did my first uh, horror short in 2016, I think, when I moved from my hometown in Ukraine, Odessa, to Kiev. Um, it was uh, like a like a, let's be honest, horror is uh, the the easiest uh, genre to entry the filmmaking industry. Uh, I mean, not the easiest, but the cheapest. Yes. Uh, let's say like this. So you don't need the stars. You don't need the um, like a super expensive uh, production. So the the most expensive is uh, sound design, <laughs> probably and music. Uh, of course, you still have expenses, but it's relatively cheap than drama or comedy and, or, or other genres. So I started to, to do it, and I did my first short. Uh, and uh, it's uh, got some festivals. No, I, I went to premiere to New York. It was in uh, Fear Fear Nick Film Festival, so it was uh, like a nice trip to New York from Ukraine. That time, uh, then uh, I didn't like a dark comedy. So I started to do another genres, uh, and uh, then my wife was pregnant. Uh, and we, we uh, she's Italian, and we went to Italy, uh, and I have nothing to do. She she was going to this, uh, you know, courses for delivery, like uh, delivery courses, and uh, I was going with her. And so I was 
instead of listening to the doctor, I was writing the script for the sh next <laughs> short short. Uh, and uh, because I was in Italy at her house parents and it, it looks a bit creepy, you know, if put correct light. <laughs> yeah. So I used her father as a main actor, her niece as the main actress. I make her uh, make up so she become a monster and then did around it uh, the, the short horror story. And uh, the, the, the fun was uh, uh, so I need a monster makeup. Of course, I don't have money. It was everything like practically a family movie because I shot it at home with uh, own equipment with a bit rent for a few lenses and uh, all the family uh, there. But I need makeup like a monster makeup. And I did. Uh, so my wife had a, has a friend that doing uh, gay porn. Uh, in uh, like festival porn movies so she, she, she called him <laughs> and asked him do you, do you have makeup artist <laughs> so I said, yes i have so for very uh, like uh, just for materials she, she she came to do a monster makeup and uh, appears that she's like a top level uh, makeup artist in in italy she was doing uh, makeup for it uh, it uh, spill uh, mo movie horror movie uh, it uh, clown, yes. clown movie yes it was fun and, and then i did barber uh, back to ukraine uh, and in china i shot also one horror well, thriller horror movie now is it hard to get eyes on the west um on your projects from the west uh sorry repeat please okay, it, it, i would say i would say is it hard to yeah. get your your projects to eyes on in the states uh no no i mean in uh, the united states one of the biggest market for horror movies so it's like a it's like a, the best the, the most film festivals that uh, horror generates in the united states so this is um, like a, this is easiest like a, usually each country in the best case scenario have one horror film festival like a, i don't know have a horror film festival italy horror film festival thailand what well, here is one horror film festival uh, and like basically all the countries like a one two horror film festivals in in, in the united states there is a i don't know tens hundreds uh, horrors thousands yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah thousands. Now, Sergey, now I'm, I'm not only a fan of your short film, but I'm also a fan of your YouTube channel, uh, which is Thank independent you. filmmaking. It's an amazing YouTube channel. Uh, by the way, go to the description and subscribe and watch him. Most oh, of my subscribers are indie filmmakers. So um, I love your channels. Tell, tell everybody a little bit about your YouTube channel. Uh, so basically, I was thinking about it like many years, and uh, because I'm living in Asia with ex decade experience in commercial directing and uh, independent filmmaking, and like I finally, I I uh, I got my trainer that uh, has uh, like a famous YouTube channel, and he said, okay, you just need to do it constantly, and constantly put uh, your all love and effort to it, and then I start to do it. So basically, this is a YouTube channel about my decade experience in independent uh, directing and filmmaking uh, that uh, I've done in Ukraine, um, Italy, China, uh, uh, Thailand, and some uh, other travel trips were um, uh, were filming. So I have a lot of to, uh, I have a lot of experience to say. Like uh, not many DOPs shooting in Lebanon, for example, uh, and uh, directing in China or like uh, different different places. Uh, so I put all my experience together in uh, short uh, five minutes clips uh, episodes that I think is fun and entertainment. One hundred percent. And 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 the video that I I recently watched was. You were talking about the horror film festival scams. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and I is. and I've been talking about that for a while, you know. I did my investigation too. And something like it was something like seventy percent of the United Film horror film festivals in the United States. I mean, they're just a crock of shit scams. Um so what would tell, tell us a little bit of what, what you found. Uh so uh, basically I have uh, I shot ten short movies, uh, fiction, uh, feature documentary documentaries, and I distribute them all myself. Uh, and uh, I did all these mistakes uh, that like uh, it's more than 
around 10 years i'm distributing my uh, my show my, my movies uh, film freeway mostly in film freeway but uh, also on directly sending to film festivals uh, and uh, i got uh, all the mistakes that everyone uh, is doing but now i can share them because i know them uh, basically there is a red flags for film festivals uh, that showing that it's a scam uh, what i mean by scam it's mean that this festival uh, is just a bullshit uh, it's uh, the, some people uh, decide uh, okay uh, we will um, make a make make a web, web page announcement take take fee for uh, from filmmakers and then we give awards to half of the half of the, <laughs> half of the people who who applied uh, uh, and send digital certificates and then uh, they also sell in the trophies for i don't know 100 dollars you pay, you need to pay for trophies it's like a joke like uh, uh, but but young filmmakers uh, or, or not young people but like let's say people who just enter in the short movies they they, they want to have a trophy on the on the on the uh, on their shelf and uh, they they just fit these uh, scammers and it's horrible uh, so in the, in the in the there is a video where i uh, do it more uh, by points where which is red flags so there's the many categories like a uh, in horror in uh, now in horror industry it's a bit easier to make a distribution because there is a one guy that did a, a list of top 150 be, top best 150 horror film festivals in the world uh, so basically if you distribute a horror movie you just go to this list and only only use this list, this list of 150 fe festivals don't don't go beyond if you don't don't want to be scammed <laughs> uh, but of course there is other festivals that uh, yes. Uh, above this list that is uh, good or okay for example here um thai horror film festival it's just new festivals that were run uh, last year very small small community and small place like a two hours drive from bangkok uh, but it's real festival so it it, it it it's not big it's new but it's real uh, but but there is a lot that just not real and it's very hard to understand who, who is who uh, and not to be cheated like i don't know i i count that they spent around probably for all these years like a two thousand two two three thousand dollars for distributing uh, to to scam film festivals that, that like a nonsense yeah and and i mean because i see i see like anytime i i you know i interview a lot of indie filmmakers and as soon as you know as soon as I schedule an interview, I immediately look at, you know, their film. I try to find it. I try to find research information about the film. And I see all these monikers on their, on their thing, like, you know, best film, best film, best film, best film. But then I start researching these film festivals, and they're absolute scams. And, like, and I'm like, wow, like, it takes away... So, listen, I, I've only been doing this for years. I don't... I, I, I was always a movie watcher. So when I seen all of these indie awards and as a watch in the beginning, I'm like thinking to myself, this is an amazing movie. This is this is something good. This is this is the top, the cream of the crop when it comes to indie movies. And I did not know that you can pay for those awards. Like you literally pay for them. You yeah, literally give somebody four to five hundred dollars, if not more. And they will give you an award. Yeah, yeah, this is true. I understood it. Uh, so uh, I, I'm telling you, I'm telling my small strategy. Uh, so the only one reason to apply to these small film festivals, local one, uh, if you will be attend them. So if you if you if you can if you can go there and then in, in person, there is a apply. If it will it will happen on other side of the planet, like a, why? Or, What's especially the yeah. if, if it's paid uh, yeah. so uh, so so when i go somewhere i don't know i'm going for one month to italy like to visit uh, family or to norway or to ukraine or to the united states whatever i um, check in uh, for this month uh, where is local where is festivals happening around the place where i'm going even so, even small one and I, I and I, and I apply to these festivals and I write them an e email like um, look I apply to your festival and I will be nearby so I can come and present the movie so it's more chances that they are willing to show it uh, and um, back back in the days uh, I, I, I at that time I did not know that 
scam festivals exist like a why would anyone do it like uh, this was my idea why why would anyone do scam film festivals like look like, i don't even know this word uh, <laughs> at that time and uh, i was in italy i i, I did like this uh, so uh, there was like a rome prisma award something like this it's called and they select my movie uh, there was a, a screening date was showing in the, the same time when i'm in rome and i said okay i'm here uh, where to come when to come well, where is the screening and sh and they answered and they even answered me that uh, this is a closed screening for students something like this i said what do you mean closed students i pay you money uh, for uh, entering the festivals and you even don't allow me to go to, <laughs> to go to the audience like obviously that it, nothing would happen uh, there they just took money like and said okay and uh, you need to be careful when you send sending the, the, the your money and movies to the to these bastards yeah. because i mean i mean listen i do get it i mean especially first time young indie filmmakers they they want their friends and family and even people in the community to see that their that their film is something you know what i mean this is something and they to to have an award for from anywhere is something to say hey look I was selected. I was. I won. Or listen, it only had been one. I was selected. You know, my film was selected. Is is like a bragging right. But I mean, it, but it's kind of a false. You know. Yeah. It's it's, it's, so, it's, 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 it's a fake award. Yeah. It's a fake selection. And like, do you? I mean, even at what I do, let's say I do YouTube. Do, do I want a fake award? By the way, there are fake YouTube awards too. <laughs> that you can apply for it. Yes. <laughs> but do I want a whole shelf of, of fake YouTube awards that I paid five hundred dollars for each one just to say people tell people, hey, this is why I'm good. This is why my channel is good because I got five hundred fake YouTube awards that I paid for. Or do I actually want awards that I can actually mean something you know yeah yeah absolutely this is this is this is this is the way yep so okay so so what are some other tips that you have ran into with all your experience that you could give to a young indie filmmaker i mean for a film festival distribution Oh, I'm now coming just in filmmaking. What are some other things that you've seen younger filmmakers getting into and wasting their money or time doing? Ah, uh, a lot. Uh, so uh, mostly time that they that they scared they don't do, do do the movies. You need to produce to make movies. Uh, learn on your mistakes. Or now it's easy to 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 learn or to study on others' mistakes, like watching somebody's YouTube YouTube channel, and you'll, you'll, <laughs> you'll go less less mistakes in in producing your independent movie. Uh, yeah, it's just you just you just need to do like find find the money, find invest in find the investments, money, uh, maybe some grants uh, to do it and shoot. Horror, like if if we're uh, we are, we're talking about horror, horror industry, it's super nice. Um, uh, like a, when um, it's also one one tip for horror horror filmmakers. Uh, if you have a one horror movie, it will be like your first horror short. Uh, it will be pretty hard to distribute it. Like a, it may it may be probably it will it it won't be the greatest short movie in your career or in in general. So it's it's a first horror. You, you need to do mistakes. You need to understand the the, the mechanic of the horror or horror movies. Uh, but you apply to film festivals, and some some film festival will um, will take it. So you spend some you sp you you will spend money, uh, and uh, let's say I don't know ten horror film festivals will select your movie. Maybe some award you win award. Maybe not. Doesn't matter. But ten film festivals will will select your movie. Then you uh, make a second short movie, and you write emails to this. 10, 10, 10 film festivals that selected your movie previously and you say look I'm your alumni uh, I have a new new short do you want do you want to watch it and in 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 
in 100 percent uh, cases if it's uh, not scam film festival it's normal normal festival no, normal horror festival they said yeah sure uh, send us it for free because you're alumni so and you save money for for distribution and uh, it's more likely that they will select your movie e than other uh, the, than others because uh, it was also inside from one one guy in Croatia that run film festival uh, I was there two times uh, and he said uh, that they prefer uh, to take uh, movies uh, for for the from the directors that already was in the in their film festival because uh, it's interesting for them and to show to the audience uh, how uh, how career of one director or how his taste is developing and uh, because they in they, they also think and it's true and it's correct that they help into the to to make a career career of the director by, by running the festival uh, because they screen the movie there is a feedback and all the stuff um so they like a following this director and always to, to take his movies if, if, if he has if he has one uh, so the, the same uh, works in in all this uh, short, short horror so when i when i had my last horror movie i i don't i didn't want to spend much money on distribution i didn't have uh, didn't have i spent all the all money to the production i wrote all the uh, emails to all the festivals that uh, my previous movies was there and they said, okay, sure, Sergi, sure, send, send us. And they, like, a, it was like a 70% of my applications, it, just my previous pre previous selections on the on the festivals. And then, of course, I, I add some new festivals, but yeah, this is like a tip how, how to do. You, do. you do more and then you <laughs> have uh, less expenses. That's good to know that I would never know that, that like, that's pretty awesome that film festivals, if you're an alumni, they were more than likely watch your film and not charge you, you know, the second time around. Yeah. They don't charge you. They select, they more likely select you. So this is, this is like a, of course, it's not 100% that they will select you. Yes. Uh, but uh, still, it's like a. Uh, so what's next very, you I'm sorry, huh? No. You, Oh, go ahead. I mean, in the very end, the horror film, film community, it's not in the indie horror film community is not that big. Like, uh, of course, no. it's white, but it's not big. Like uh, everyone yes. knows each other some, somehow. <laughs> yes. Yes. And, and, and unfortunately, if you get a bad reputation in, in a small yeah. community, everybody knows you. <laughs> yeah, sure. So what's next for you? Are you working on any future projects? Yeah, feature. Uh, I'm 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 done with short movies. Like I I already did did the ten, so it's not not interesting anymore. So now the next step is feature movie. Uh, working on it right now, thinking uh, thinking how to do it uh, in in and in which way, or it will be indie way uh, too much, or uh, or it for cinemas like a classic uh, popcorn horror movie. We'll think. Okay. Let's say it's on the in in development stage. Okay. All right. So listen, as you know, this is a horror channel. So I'm gonna ask you three horror questions. Are you ready? Oh. Okay. All right. <laughs> what is? Let me see. What is the first horror movie that you watched that made you fall in love with horror? Oh, like a first, first. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, the first one like that you watched, you were like, "I love horror." Now, okay, <laughs> I love horror. I don't know, but I remember my first horror movie that I was scared the most. It's called the The Dentist. The dentist. It's like a, it's not it's not an initially horror, but it's like about the, the dentist that become crazy and cut the the tooth from the people. And now I'm scared all the dentist all the time. It was from nineties. <laughs> It's like an old, old, old eighties, nineties movie. Uh, like uh, this wasn't a problem. <laughs> the, the most. Now, I saw a movie. Movie. Now, huh? I saw a movie like that. It was called Doctor Giggles in the nineties. It was a dentist. Uh, and maybe because it was uh, in, in Ukrainian language, uh, maybe its translation was uh, maybe maybe. Yeah, because he he was always laughing. He was like a a sane and solemn patient that escaped and put on a dentist outfit and he was giggling all the time that's why i call him dr giggles okay next yeah. question 
if you could remake any classic horror movie, which one would it be? Uh, like you want to to change, or I want to do it? You want to do it? You're going to put your own taste on it. Uh, uh, Exorcist. Really? Uh, that sounds okay. really nice. Nice. I like this. I like it. Did you watch Classic. the new ones or no? No, no. Old one. Oh, it's, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> no, don't watch. <laughs> I, I, I feel it like it will be something bad, so I just I skip to this old one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really bad. All right. Final question. Hmm. Okay. If you could cast any iconic horror actor or actress in one of your movies, who would it be? Uh, oh, for sure. Oh, sorry, it's fall down from my head. Uh, yeah. Uh, there is only one the great uh, the, 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 that in the end was frozen in the in the, in the snow. Oh, come on. I forgot the name, English. The classic, classic, classic horror movie. No, you don't hear me? No. Classic horror movie. Hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, so third question. Which horror, iconic horror actor or actress would you like to work with on one of your projects? I would say, uh, um, of course, now he's a bit old, but uh, Jack Nicholson is uh, like a cl classic Dr dream, of, yeah. dream of working from after Shining. <laughs> Yes, that, that would be amazing. That's a good one. That's yeah. a, that is a good one. All right, Sergi. So, where can everyone find you, my friend? Um, in in Thailand, in Bangkok. <laughs> <First of all. laughs> uh, oh, sure. I'm gonna find you if, if I if I ever come back. So, yeah, sure. I go back. Hopefully, you make your spot pass by Bangkok. The write me down. Let's go for a beer or something. Uh, Most definitely. Uh, yes. my, my contacts uh, is on my YouTube channel. So YouTube channel, there is my email, uh, my Facebook, uh, everything's linked. So super easy to find me. And awesome, you can awesome. uh, you can just type uh, Sergi Pudic, uh, and I'm only one Sergi Pudic. So there is Perfect. no, yeah, no another to, one. Go huh? down to the description box, and I'm going to have the link to his YouTube channel. So click on it, watch it, subscribe, like. It is a fun time. Sergi, it's been Thank an absolute you. blast having you on, man. You're more than welcome to come Thank on anytime. You, My morning, uh, Friday morning is uh, done by you. Ho hopefully, we'll be charged <laughs> all the day. Well, I'm going, it's, it's 1041 here, PM, so I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I'm going to, to, uh, to, yep. to, do my, to do Muay Thai training in a in couple of okay. hours. <laughs> <laughs> Well, everyone, thank you for coming to the Horror Room. I'm Travis Bruce. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Thanks, Travis. Bye-bye.